the year of the dragon update just came out in party animals i'm going to show you everything that they added right as you log into the game they'll give you lotus the dragon for free and you can see them in the main menu now sitting there right on the couch right next to nemo now if you look on the bottom left of your screen you'll see a little icon on the dragon that is where you can access the year of the dragon battle pass and we'll go through all the tiers together. The first one is the Lotus Dragon, which you get for logging in. Now, this might be the best animal they've added yet. The mane and horns are amazing. And he has this like little mustache thing, which floats with the physics. Even his tail does the physics. It's so awesome to see. Level two, you're going to get the Lotus Avatar. Rank up to level three, and you get Foliage Lotus. Now, this is one of the many skins that Lotus actually gets. Each skin is like a different element. And this one's super cool. It's based off nature. So his mane is a bunch of leaves and he has a really cool leaf tail. Loading up to level four, you get the Lotus profile picture frame. Here is another Lotus variation. This is Jade Lotus. It's a very nice green aesthetic here. And the jade around his mane and tail is a very nice touch. Level six, you get the Boom Firecracker emote. The next element that they have for Lotus is Ice Lotus. This one's super cool with the ice shorts all around his face and it adds to the tail. And it's a very nice shade of blue. Right after Ice Lotus, you get the emote Shoot Money. Level 9, you get one of the best ones in my opinion. Star Lotus. Has such a cool shade of blue over his fur. With a mane of clouds and star particles everywhere. It's just so cool. Here is the Pop Lotus emote, which is a reference to this cat meme. Here is level 11, and that's Thunder Lotus, which kind of looks like the default skin if he was Super Saiyan. It has that crazy Saiyan hair, and also has this like lightning effect all over his face, which is pretty awesome. Level up again, and you get the golden profile picture frame. Level 13, you get the Fire Lotus outfit. This one is so awesome. The fire mane is constantly flowing with flames. Same with the tail, and it looks just fantastic. Here is another profile picture. This one is of the sun avatar skin that's coming up, and it looks really cool. And lastly in the battle pass, here is the final skin. It's just like sun god lotus skin. There's so much going on in this skin. There's there's these ribbons that are on him. There's this giant sun avatar thing behind him that's constantly glowing. There's the tail moving all the time. There's just a lot going on in this skin. It's really cool. Not to level up, you have to look at the challenges, which is basically daily challenges. So what you have to do is just play quick matches and gain XP from that to level up in the battle pass. And don't forget, the battle pass only lasts for 10 days, so hurry up and complete it before it's gone. They replaced the fish with a gold nugget, and they also replaced the bomb with a firecracker. When it explodes, it has really cool particle effects. Next, they added some lunar festivities to three maps. The first one being Ichiban with these two really cool banners on the pillars. On the Winter is Coming map, they have the houses decorated with lunar festivities like paper lanterns. Oh wow, the houses look so cool now. Ah, uh, I'm frozen. And they changed up the Winter Cabin map a little bit. So they added the Year of the Dragon decorations like paper lanterns and firecrackers. But also they made it so you can walk around outside and explore all around. It made the outside area much larger and you don't get frozen anymore. Here I'll do a quick little montage of me running around the house so you can see what's around the, the whole yard. There's not too much, it's just a couple of winter decorations and snowmen. And now when you die, you respawn almost immediately. Wow, that was really fast. The heck? Now this is actually a new skin, it's the Lion Dance Nemo skin, and it's to celebrate the Chinese New Year. And this year, it's Year of the Dragon, which is why they have the traditional dragon headset that he's wearing on the skin. There are four other skins to go with Year of the Dragon. Coco, Macchiato, Ada, and Max. Ow. Now onto the brand new map that they added. It's a new team mode called Luggage Chaos. The objective of this map is to grab the suitcases and put them into your team's hatch. It's like a combination of the map's lollipop factory and conveyor. Since you can't go through the gates if you have a suitcase, you have to put them on a conveyor boat that wraps around the whole map. Once it's behind your area, you have to grab them and throw them down the hole and pull the lever. But you have to grab the luggage fast before the conveyor boat pushes it to the enemy team's territory where they will have a chance to score their points of their own. Be on the lookout for a golden suitcase. This will give you a lot of points just like the giant gummy bear on Lollipop Factory. Be careful because you can also fall into the hatch and die. And yes, your characters can slip through the conveyor belt metal detectors. They'll also be adding Gopher the Marmot later on in the patch. So keep an eye out for him. That's everything they added into this update. Let me know what your favorite Lotus skin is down in the comments. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and to leave a like. I'm almost done with a big Party Animals video I've been working on. So keep a lookout for when that drops. Thank you so much for watching.